Welcome back to my channel, San Joaquin Jr. On this channel, we discuss police accountability and knowledge of your constitutional rights. Today's video is from a channel that goes by the name, No Good Cops. In today's video, a man is driving somewhere in Mississippi. While driving on the highway, he has to pass through a checkpoint. As he gets through, he decides not to give up his information because he believes it is well within his Fourth Amendment right to withhold that information. Frustrated, the officers tell him to pull over, and this is what happened next. Yes? My what? What do you need to check my driver's license for? We're doing a driver's license check, so you need to see your driver's license. No, you don't. Can you can you tell me what crime I've committed? Can you tell me what crime I've committed? Did you catch me speeding? You didn't commit a crime. We're checking for driver's Right, license, so and you can't. This is not a stop and identify state. This is not not a stop and identify state. You, you you can't check me for a driver's license if I didn't commit a crime. Yes, ma'am. You see your license? No, sir. Can we see your license? Why are you making this hard and what it is? Uh, because I have constitutional rights that keep me from being harassed. We're not harassing you. You are harassing me. Checkpoint that we was at and you just and that's and that's a constitutional violation. You cannot stop and identify me unless I've committed a crime. Man, where your license at? Did I commit a crime? Either you give me your license, or we're gonna break this window and get you out of this car. You is that a fact? That, is that a fact? Yes. Would is. you like to lose your qualified immunity? I'm not. You I'm will. Not. All right, stay right here. After doing a bit of research and finding absolutely nothing, the phrase stop and ID state is a misnomer. It is a phrase the police in America have utilized into tricking the American people into believing they must give up their ID. To piggyback off that, police often set up roadblocks, also called checkpoints, where they stop and inspect all drivers and vehicles passing along a road. Because the police typically lack probable cause to believe that any particular driver who is stopped has broken a law, checkpoints could violate the Fourth Amendment. The Supreme Court has yet to rule on whether the checkpoints are a violation of your Fourth Amendment rights, thus leaving it up to the states. Do y'all have a supervisor available? Yep. Can I can I can I speak to your supervisor? You can just show me your license. You can go on about your business, but you finna get arrested for not even want to show your license. Really? Can you tell me what crime I committed? What? Can you tell me what crime I've committed? Sir? Can you tell me what crime I've committed? Have you ever been through a roadblock? Do you live in Mississippi? I do live in Mississippi, and have I also been, know my constitutional so rights. I'm just asking you, every time you've been through a roadblock, have you done this? Yes, I have. And what, what did they do? Not a thing. They just let you go? Yes, they do. Where you went through the roadblock at? Um, I've been through them in Vicksburg, right outside the Natchez Trace. Um, I've been through them in the middle of Vicksburg. Man, you're making this hard. I don't even want to go through this with you. Can I just see your license, please? I just have a license. Just show me your license, and you can go on about your business. But I don't understand why. You, what, what you're not understanding is I have a constitutional right not to be no, stopped no, and harassed. No, Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you all for watching. I want you all to head over to No Good Cops channel, subscribe, and let them know San Joaquin Jr. sent you. Now the cop making those empty threats of pulling the man out of his car were flat out disgusting. That was a threat in and of itself and shows that officers have a willingness to violate rights. That being said, I'd like to know your thoughts. Be sure to leave them down in the comments. Thank you again and remember, know your rights and always record.